right, guys. IRL Sea Lord here after um, a very eventful past couple of days. So I know I said I was going to uh, do one of these vlog videos like each day of this trip, but the first day was so uh, eventful, shall we say, that uh, those plans got pushed back to today. So um, just a quick summary of what happened. So we left on Christmas Day around uh, 6 o'clock from New Orleans. And the, the the traveling actually wasn't that bad in terms of the crowds. I thought we were going to be in the TSA line for like, you know, two hours because Southwest, the TSA, they both sent notifications to my phone because I have the TSA, uh, the TSA app where you can check the wait times. Just, and they both said, you know, hey, get to the airport at least two hours in advance in preparation for a holiday crowd. So I'm like, oh, dang. All right. So sure enough, we, we pulled up to New Orleans Airport, um, New Orleans International, I should say, um, two hours early. We get in, we get down to the escalators to TSA, and there ain't even a line there. It is not as busy as I thought it was going to be. There's even less people than when we flew in March. That's crazy. And this is the first time I've traveled with, um, like, this neat editing, recording setup that I've got going on here for this uh, museum ship road trip, a mini road trip, I should say. And I have a laptop. I've got, a, like, an actual good quality camera. I'll show you guys that here in a second. And I was looking online, and there's all these things saying, yeah, you need to check, uh, take that out at the TSA checkpoint. You need to, you know, put the laptop in a separate bin, the camera in a separate bin. It's got to all, all go through the x-ray machine separately. So, so, like, I had my backpack tied so nice so where I could take the laptop out, take the camera bag out. I don't know why I'm moving my hands around with the microphone. Take the camera bag out and, you know, just put it, put it all in individually. And then, um, yeah, no, get to the line, and the TSA guy's like, no, nope, leave it all in the bag. It all goes through all at once. All right, cool. So breeze through TSA, and then Southwest happens. Our first flight was delayed by about 30 minutes, and we had a connecting flight in Nashville, and the layover time was only 40 minutes so it got a little sketchy there but the flight in nashville also got pushed back by about 15 minutes so that was fine so we did wind up getting to our destination um about 20 30 ish minutes later than normal which is fine i mean we still got there so that's what's important but that did get us at our hotel last night around midnight one o'clock in the morning I'm just like, nah, I don't want to mess with editing anything about flying on Christmas Day, so I'm going to go to bed. And we did. And then we woke up, drove about an hour and a half, and we hit our first museum ship today. We just got done there. Then we drove three hours now to the hotel that we're in right now. Which, fun story, both with the car rental and with the hotel, we got free upgrades. The car rental, I walked in, and again, we got there like 1 o'clock in the morning. And here's the funny thing. It's the same chain of car rental companies that's locally at near where I live and here. And near where I live, God help you if you want to rent a car a day before or after a holiday because the office is closed. Here, they're open 24-7 Christmas Day, no problem. Walk in, and they're like, "Hey, um, you know, you, you want an upgrade?" I'm like, "Yeah, I want an upgrade. What can I get?" And they just go, "I'll oh, just go in the back, pick whatever you want." I'm like, <laughs> "Okay, okay." I, I rented like a Camry, so instead of a Camry, I um, I made a very wise decision, and instead of getting a you know a Camry or you know full size sedan, I got a pickup truck. Got a Tacoma TRD 4x4 fully loaded truck because the man in me took over. And it doesn't make any sense because it's a road trip and it's a truck and it gets less miles per gallon than a car. But whatever. It's, it made me happy at 1 o'clock in the morning after, you know, getting to the car rental place an hour later than we were supposed to. So, yeah. But um, then we get to the hotel here 
and our room was still being cleaned at five o'clock. So the lady at the desk was like, oh yeah, no, I'll just upgrade you to a better room at no charge. So now we're in like this like condominium suite on the top floor of the hotel. And yeah, it's going good. <laughs> it's going really good <laughs> so far. Um, girlfriend's asleep in the in the um in the bedroom right now so i don't want to bother her by talking too loud which is why i'm using the the mic and talking kind of kind of soft but yeah no that's how it's gone so far it's gone well um i guess i'll just show you guys my little editing suite here and um i do want to keep the ships kind of a surprise so um a couple of you are probably being able to do the the math in your head and you probably have an idea of what ships I'm going to, but once the uh, the videos of the ship tours go up on the main channel, I'll release like the behind the scenes and the blooper stuff for each of those ships on this channel. In addition to probably another uh, vlog, once we get done doing the rest of the ships, we have two more to do, and we're doing both of them tomorrow. So again, those of you that can kind of do some math in your head or some guesstimations, you can probably surmise what we're doing and what we've done already in terms of museum ships if you want to take a guess leave those comments in the comments down below but let me show you my little rig that i got going up here i don't know if you call it a rig or whatever but come forth iphone so most of this was acquired over the past um year not like i just bought all this all at once i don't have that much money don't make any assumptions from that so um this is this is well this is the newest thing that, that we have so far this macbook pro um, I know MacBook Pro, it sounds expensive, right? But this is the 2019 model, and it is a refurbished model, so it's like a third the cost of a new one. Um, plus, I bought um, my first MacBook back in 2014, and this is the replacement. Like, literally 10 years later, for the cost, if it lasts another 10 years, I'm doing great. And that same time, my sisters bought, like, six or seven windows laptops and i know you know windows doesn't actually make the laptops themselves there's a mix between um uh, what's the it's dell hp and the other brand that they carry at like walmart and best buy yeah she had to buy six or seven of those i bought one of these so that's good in my book and plus shotcut runs on mac that's pretty cool um so as far as the audio goes, well, I'm wearing it, but um, we use these Rode Wireless Go 2s. These are awesome. Um, you can usually pick them up on sale for like $190. You get uh, the one transceiver and the two mics that you can wear on your shirts, hats, vests, whatever you uh, you wear. They're cool little, cool little microphones and. Um, they have saved the day on several occasions already, like you see right here. Um, for example, I forgot to bring, you can see the little cord going to my uh, iPhone. I forgot to bring the appropriate cord to connect it to the camera, but the mics themselves save the recordings on the mic. So you can plug into your computer like I've done here and recover the uh, files straight onto your computer. Uh, the only other thing is that I have to like, you know, sync my lips up with the with the audio but other than that i mean heck that, that's all that's a heck of a lot better than just losing losing the uh recording anyway and thinking that i've got you know this going on and i'm you know 20 foot away from the camera and you can't hear me so that that is fine we are wonderful with that but yeah these are little these are great if you want to get into like um any type of irl videos or anything like that And uh, everything is charging or waiting to be charged at the moment. Uh, the camera, is it still charging? Yeah, it's still charging. So yeah, this is the camera that we uh, were using for these museum ship videos and all the new IRL videos. It's a Lumix S5 from, I don't know if Panasonic makes it or they're just the parent company or whatever, but yeah, no, it's Panasonic Lumix S5. This thing is like probably the nicest thing I own at this moment um this is a proper camera and th these if you don't catch them on like a black friday sale like i did they're normally like two thousand dollars um but this one i snagged on black friday for like 1600 and i used my credit card um 
cash back to take a good chunk of that off. So I got a pretty good deal on that. But yeah, you, you'll see some, you'll see the footage on this in the museum ship videos as they come out. And it is night and day. Like the, this iPhone refor, uh, records in 4K, right? But like it's it's not, it's not this. We've already recorded a video on it that just hasn't gone up on the channel. And it's, uh, it is some crispy footage if I do say so myself. And you know, spare batteries back there charging too because uh, we were at the ship for, three hours and we recorded like uh two hours worth of footage and uh that thing just consumes batteries apparently so i'm glad i got the two backups over there and um yeah no that's it that's what we've got going for us right now with the mobile recording uh setup and such so uh just stick around and stay tuned to this channel the main channel and you'll be seeing more videos about this popping up here on the second channel and um more videos popping up on the main channel well, you'll see the final product there of these ship tours. So uh, thank you guys for checking in on the IRL channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.